Leading the way, on air, online, and on the go. WLWT News 5 Today starts now. Well, good morning. Welcome to News 5 Today weekend. Happy Sunday morning or Saturday night, whichever the case may be. <laughs> Just good to be together. I'm Jonathan Hallgood. This is meteorologist Steve Norris. How are you doing? Doing great. Uh, ready for the big day today. The Bengals and the Cowboys go Bengals. going at it. Go Bengals. Yeah, I know. Would be five in a row. They won four straight, so it could be five that in a row today. Sweet. Five has such a nice ring to mm -hmm. it. And I think uh, the Cowboys, I'll have to double check, but I think they're like six and six or something like that. So they're exactly, yeah, we're, getting getting we're getting a nod season. from Big Ben Bossy, our yeah. production assistant here on the six and yeah. six. They are kind of with their backs to the wall, mm -hmm. I think. And it's they're a good every team. Every game for them is a must win. Right. So it's a, that's not good. Of course, they had, the, they had this, this strange happening with one of their players we'll talk terrible. about in the oh, show. Yeah, goodness, sad. I saw that. Yeah. Uh, so it's hard to kind of pop psychologicalize it out, but. Sure. Uh, I hope it's a Bengals win, and that'd be sweet. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be uh, soggy. Huh? Yeah, at any rate, you're going to want to take the rain gear to the stadium today. Yeah, right? we're going to see some showers and maybe even a thunderstorm by the end of the game. So yeah, it is going to be wet. In fact, the Power Five live radar not showing much right now, except for just a couple of sprinkles there over parts of southeast Indiana. We're talking about Ripley County, uh, Dearborn County. But as I widen out the view, I'll show you what has developed over the last bit, and that would be a cluster of thunderstorms over parts of western Kentucky. Let me just zoom in a little bit uh, closer into this area, and you can see those extending from Mayfield, Benton. Kentucky on to Princeton and Madisonville, Kentucky, and we are seeing a few lightning strikes. You can see the lightning counter there uh, up to around 30 strikes at one point and all of this pushing off to the east and to the northeast. So eventually we will see some of that uh, rain move into the tri-state even during the morning hours, but our best chance for rain will come later on in the afternoon into tonight. A chilly start to the work week today. We're going to be a 61 degree, so mild day today. But tomorrow on Monday, temperatures will be plunging into the mid and upper 30s as we get into the afternoon hours. But a warm up starting midweek. Tuesday's high, well, not warm, 38 degrees, but we will warm into the 50s as we get into the day there on Thursday. So that won't be all that bad. Right now, skies overhead are cloudy. Just a couple of sprinkles, as I mentioned, over southeast Indiana. 47 degrees is the air temperature at the International Airport. The dew point right now is 44. We have a falling barometer and winds that are out of the east northeast at nine miles per hour. As a result, temperatures even colder to the north in the mid and upper 30s. And you'll notice the arrows here indicating that east northeast wind. But eventually, as a warm front lifts north of the tri state later on during the day today, our winds will become more southerly. So that's why we are going to warm into the low 60s. Certainly unseasonably warm for this time of the year. Our normal highs around 43, 44 degrees. Here's your Sunday planner 45 at 8 o'clock this morning. Perhaps a shower or two around at that time noon, a spotty shower, a high then or a temperature of 55 degrees and we'll be up to around 60 by 5 o'clock with showers and uh, maybe even a couple of thunderstorms at that time. Here's a look at the satellite and the radar. You can see those showers and thunderstorms as they continue to develop there over western Kentucky, pushing east and northeast. I mentioned the fact that we do have a warm front just to our south that will lift to the north and that will be the focus of some showers and even a couple of thunderstorms as we uh, head through the afternoon and into the evening. Here's Futurecast 5. Notice the rain moving in by mid to late morning in a couple of spots uh, by the middle part of the afternoon. Showers uh, likely, even a couple of thunderstorms as we head into tonight. And then we'll begin to see that rain move out as we head through about the second half of your Monday. This is 10 o'clock Monday morning. Still a couple of showers around, but they should move out during the afternoon hours, maybe even a flurry or two to end it all. And how much rain are we talking between uh, now and when it all comes to an end sometime during the day tomorrow? Maybe an inch to as much as an inch and a half of rainfall. So soaking rain on the way. Your forecast for the day up to 61 degrees. Showers redeveloping. A thunderstorm or two is possible. Tonight down to 44. Showers likely. Again, perhaps a thunderstorm or two but 44 will be our high tomorrow as temperatures plunge into the 30s during the daylight hours with occasional showers around. And here's your seven-day forecast. There you see the following temperatures tomorrow. 38 degrees, burr, cold there on Tuesday, but turning pleasant Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with another chance of rain next Saturday. Jonathan? Thanks, Steve. Now on News 5 Today.